<laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Heel Drag with your boy Nani and my boy Anthony. And we got a different setup now. Well, same angle, just more close up, you know? Yes, more personal. And today we are doing the top five movie inspired sneakers. This includes sneakers that are directly inspired by movies and sneakers that are in movies, right? Definitely. Honorable mention for my van family out there. Van. Okay. Damn, Daniel. Um, <laughs> Toy Story vans. Those are sick. I love Toy Story. That's actually one of the only Disney movies I do really appreciate. What? You, yeah, like, I don't, I'm not a big Disney person. It's like, I don't watch Pocahontas, Cinderella, all that <laughs> shit. My fault. Toy Story is my shit. So yeah. when they made a shoe off of Woody and they did a one for Buzz Lightyear with two, yep. which I really like the Woody one more, the yeah. Authentics, those are stupid fun. Yeah. And then they even did like a Croc. You remember that? Oh yeah, the Croc one too. Yeah. I, I actually like the Buzz Lightyear one of that one. <laughs> That could be on the list definitely for sure. I'm going to go with a Nike SB Dunk. You know, SBs, they do a really good job at, you know, movies and concept-wise on their sneakers. Cheech and Chung. Oh, yeah, it was. Cheech and Chung. This one was inspired by uh, Up in Smoke. You could see Cheech's uh, red beanie yeah. on one shoe. And then the other shoe, you could see Chong's red bandana. I just love this shoe, what they did to it. It came out 420. I forgot what year. The best part of it is like the toe box area. Rip it a tear away. away. Yeah. Tear away. When, you, when a skater tears away their sneaker, the green underneath. That's just hard, bro. A lot of people actually burnt them. Yeah, they burnt it. That oh, looks sick man, too. I love that shit. I forgot that was in there. Banger. That's a good... Honestly, I'm hot that you got an honorable mention not on the top five. That's because I got, I got other ones that are really wow, crazy. In that's there. actually a really good one. Yeah. Oh, you bet. got another one? Another honorable mention is a Nike Lab Vando High Terminators. Mm. Oh, that's a good one. Eh? That was cool. I was like, come on, Terminator is dope as fuck. Like I've watched, I think I watched every single movie yeah, yeah, yeah. as a kid and Arnold. Badass. Dope. Yeah. A little lackluster, I would say, but you yeah, know what no, I mean? It's not, about it's, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's going to be like that, you know, black and gray shoe. Not every shoe is going to be a banger here, right? Yeah, I mean, right. but it was really cool. But yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? You can call anything. Super sick. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Okay, this one, I got another one, another SB. If you take my SB no, and no, not no. put it on, I'm going to be hot. I already know. During the gold box era. Mm. High top. Mm, I know. You're Jason fucking Jason Voorhees. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, that's a good one, you actually. See, yeah, I love this shoe. One of the best. Oh, my God. Like, first of all, I didn't know. Did you know that Jason wasn't in the original? Uh, Friday the 13th? No, he wasn't. I didn't know that shit. You didn't I, know that? I saw that last Oh, do you not watch horror movies? I don't or be what? watching movies like that. You like don't? A, nah, nah, nah. What and, the fuck uh, are you making this episode for? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Jason Voorhees, high, super fire, super cool. No, I love that. And you know what? I'm actually kind of hot. I think that should be my top five. I got to take something out. Wow. I ain't going to lie. That's a good sneaker. I forgot, yeah, man. Yeah. Super clean. I like horror mm -hmm. movies. So mm -hmm. I really like, I like slasher films. So yeah. I do love, Come on. I love Jason. I love Freddy. I love all that stuff. So it was, it's just amazing. It has to be up there for me. One more just to put in there. He got game 13. Oh. Denzel Washington, Jesus should have worked. That was super dope to introduce a sneaker in a movie. Right. The next thing you know, it's probably one of the most classic shoes of all time, I would say. But I remember when he pulled up to the full He's like, oh, the judges just came out. Seven. Ah. <laughs> these are the new Jordans. That's it, huh? Yeah, how much these cost, man? Yeah. yeah. Like, that's just a, such an iconic Come moment. On, and dude. in a movie, too. That's how I put it. But I don't think it... I, the only reason is because I also incorporate it with, like, Jordan more than the movie. What I like about this one a lot is that this is the nickname of the shoe, officially. I know it's a Jordan. I know Jordan wore him in the playoffs and whatever. But this is a he got game because of the movie. Like, that is true. keep it real. Now let's get to the top five. Adidas. Number five for me. What? Adidas? Yes. The fuck? The Forum Low, Home Alones. Ah. Super clean, super fire. Look, I know no one gives a fuck about these. What I what I like is the concept. Okay. Of yes. Kevin wearing them in the movie, using the actual silhouette, the, the the red and white, and then the whole worn effect of the shoe. Like, he'd been through it. Obviously, yes. tricking all these motherfuckers throughout the whole movie. It, ah. That's one of the best Christmas movies of all time. Yes. And I think- uh, Maybe is. I don't know. Depends. Yeah. yeah. But- I just don't like the shoe. I love the shoe. I love the uh, the forum low, uh, okay. a beautiful basketball shoe, and I just love the whole like the concept, right? The if you look at the insole art, you know you have the the bad guys, Harry and Marv. I get you. Yeah. I, I think that was cool. Yeah, that, that's, that's a pretty good top one. five. Just because I love the concept, concept just through the roof for me. My top five. Nike SB, which I thought you're gonna have on here. This one was very. This one is very interchangeable for me now. Thinking about the Jasons, but I had the Ferris Bueller's. Oh, 100%. It's crazy because I didn't watch the movie for like, it came out, how on the fuck? Bro, the, the fucking 90s, 80s. I mean, it came out 80s. in the 90s. It came out before I was born, but oh, I'm yeah. saying like, as like, a adult, classic. like, like in life, I didn't watch that shit probably until like two years ago. Funny. And it's a great fucking movie. Again, SB to me is the king of concept. Like, all right, this is what I'm going to make the shoe about. Let's make it that. Exactly. You got the whole leopard vest, the white, the gray. I mean, they, they knock it out, bro. I, I really like that shoe, bro. But now thinking about fucking it. laces. Yes, Leopard. Bro. See, that's the thing that maybe we probably should have did a little bit more than the top five, but definitely is going to be my top five for now. 100. Would have been the Jason agree. now, but I like Ferris. Nah, Bullet. I love those Ferris. Good pick. Great Thank pick, you. actually. Your four. My four. Going to number four. I'm going to have to go with these Kobe's, the Grinches. 
You're right. It is Grinch, Kansas. Come on, oh, this guy. Yes. I, this this guy's list already. <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, my shit's getting fucked. The Kobe Grinches. Grinches. I mean, come the... F- you said Home Alone was one of the best uh, Christmas? Movies. It's Yeah, never mind. There's a good, a lot of good Christmas. It's like a Christmas episode. The uh, fuck? <laughs> for real. July. Kobe Grinch. It's so monumental. One of the most sought after Kobe's of all time, right? Yes, bro. It's literally like a... I want to say like the best rendition because there's other ones that I've mm. seen that are more Grinchy, the, like but they're not considered Grinch. You know what I mean? Like the CPFM, like that whole oh, crazy one. That right. one looks like more, a Grinch shoe. That looks yeah. like his feet, right? That looks like his feet. That looks kind of crazy. You know and then they also have the form. Oh, low. the form low, yeah, yeah, Adidas. But I just take those Grinches, Kobe's, yeah, all day. My list is fucked. <laughs> That's a great one. I'm glad that we're doing this together, apparently. That's right. My list is his list, technically. At number four, we have the Jordan One Spider Verse. Ooh, I was gonna put a Jordan one in there, but that's that's a good pick, man. I like that. You know what I mean? Loving, I just love Miles Morales. Awesome. He's wearing Jordan one Chicago yes. all the time. It's amazing. Yeah, and he also has his own Jordan one version. Which is I put on there. The, yeah, so both of them, you can put them up there. I love those. It's funny, like you actually see them in real life. It's, yeah, exactly. It's kind of cool that you see it in the movie and then you, see yeah. you have it on feet. It's, it's so sick. Amazing shoe. Good yeah. Pick. My number three is uh, Ferris Bueller. I had yes. those. Yeah, that's These a good are shoe. fucking sick. Uh, we already talked about them on yours, you know, whatever. I just can't get over the fact that leopard, bro. I yeah. feel like if people that like are a fan of the movie will just like, oh, bro, that is Ferris Bueller. Yes. They'll look at it. They don't, they don't even have to be sick. What are those, the Ferris Bueller thing? Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, <laughs> it actually is. Yeah. Definitely a good shoe right there. All right, number three for me, sir, is same thing. We said, talked about Jordans. Jordans have been in movies, but yeah. this is the most, this is one of the most influential ones of all time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Space Jabs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on. I already knew it. But Bugs I also wanted to put the do the series. right things in there for us, too. Yes. That's, that's maybe a side, side honorable mention. But so, well, the thing, the difference between the do the right thing and how would I say, it? this is Space Jam's Jordan. Yeah. The Jordan 4, cement, white cements were already a thing before the movie. But, but going with the Sp- Space Jams, I mean, dude, this is one of the most iconic collabs of all time. Looney Tunes. Jordan. Uh, it just had it all, right? And it branched off to the LeBron brand. Oh, Roadrunner and Coyote. Roadrunner. Roadrunner oh, and yeah, Coyote one. Oh, yeah. Even LeBron had his own Xbox collab. That motherfucker, you know. Yeah, he did his thing. But, but this, this, this is, is because, the reason. Yeah. Jordan. And that movie was great. Oh, we yeah. didn't watch Space Jam growing it's, up. It wasn't great. Growing up, it was a good movie because it was fun and cool. But, dude, the acting sucks. But it's... it's just, it's a yeah, I get what you mean. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like he's not Jordan's not the best no. actor, but I'm saying like it's just it's a it's, so what's it called nostalgia. Nostalgia. Yeah, one hundred percent. I agree with you. Uh, I love the movie. I love the shoes. Got to be up there. This is top three. That was my top three. Oh yeah, no, you said my three. Okay, my number two. And actually own these. What? We're gonna look at one of the most iconic Nike collabs. Mm, what is it? Air Mags. What? You own these? The rendition of the Nike SB. Oh yeah, you're yeah, right. <laughs> We're talking about the Nike SB McFlies. You had these. <laughs> I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? That shit threw me off. But I did have the McFlies. And yeah. what I liked about those, um, it, it was the exact same material as, or the same color scheme as the Air Max. And inside the insoles was the hoverboard. Yeah, the pink. I fucking love it, That's man. a great shoe, dude. I love these shoes. Uh, I wish I had them. I think they're creeping up to a thousand right now. They Something are, stupid, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's a good pick, bro. I like that. Yeah. Number two, SB. SB, like you said, SB does and kill it all part. We knew this had to be on here. Oh, yeah. Freddie Lowe's mm-hmm. is number two. Yeah. It's just awesome shoe, super detailed, very pricey. And I've noticed, yeah, I'm noticing my list is very pricey. <laughs> this one is Slasher. Like you you, like you said, somebody see you on the street, they're like, what the fuck? Those are Freddy's? Yes. Like, yeah, buddy, they are. Yeah, actually. But we never going to see that. They nailed that bitch to the T, even yes. to the swoosh, you know, representing his claws or whatever. Um, I don't like this shoe that crazy, but I just could appreciate the concept. This yeah. is a, it, it is a Freddy shoe. All um, right, now I want to hear your number one. Well, you already said it. No, my number one is the Space Jam 11s. Oh, it has to be, man. Yeah. This is the best. Uh, I know the movie's trash. It's not trash. <laughs> I know, I know, but I, that's of both worlds. Yes, from the Looney Tune characters and all that. It's it's just a dope shoe, and I like how I think they do come with like Looney Tune on the box, right? The show oh, like when a they remade logo. them. Yes, yeah. on the 45. As a kid growing up, we appreciate the nostalgia points that Jordan. You know, it's, it's just a good time to me. It's a good shoe. Definitely, and then Jordan 11s are one of your favorite shoes. Oh, that's why I had that's, to put it up I there. Get that. That's my number one. Which is crazy because not my number one is never will have this. <laughs> <laughs> the nike air mag the og oh, yeah. air mag think about this how long ago was that movie back in the a- 80s 85 i think yeah. we got was 30 plus years and then we ended up getting an actual shoe that they were thinking of i like the inspiration i love where it comes from it is futuristic as fuck i know it, it, it it's a himself. flying fucking shoe at right this i looked I'm, i swear to god i thought that we we're gonna fly with this but shit. i think this shoe is ugly it's supposed to be <laughs> 
<laughs> it's in the future. You right. know what I mean? Right. When you think of back in the 80s when they were talking about shit, they thought everything was what supposed to be ugly, flying cars Wasn't he wearing his fucking pants inside out? That's kind of yeah. close to what the fuck's happening right now. <laughs> yes, that it does. But it, the fit is immaculate. Puffer jacket, I remember. Jacket, uh, I just don't think it's a pleasant shoe to look at. Like, I get what you mean. Yeah. You would pick the Marty McFly's over there. Oh, the oh, definitely, and I get oh, you. Yeah, come on. But this is like, you, you have these. It's insane. It comes with a fucking charger. Yes, the charger lights, <laughs> it lights up. up. Yeah. It's like, you know, we're grown ass men loving light up shoes, but mm-hmm. this is insane, bro. This yeah. is probably, I think this is the best. The GOAT. Of sneaker movie shoes. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. So let us know what you guys think. Is the Mag the GOAT shoe of all yeah. of movies or is I it think the Space Jam I 11? I think it's the Space Jam. And that's definitely up for debate. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Look in the descriptions down below. We got our social medias and we got our TikToks and Instagram. That's been another episode of Heel Drag. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.